I hope Capcom is watching this. All right, so a lot of you didn't want, not you as the people listening, but you know, the other naysayers who are not so crazy about Melty Blood, it's not gonna change anything. I hope that Capcom is watching this. They didn't make their characters 3D. Those are 2D characters. Can't help but wonder if Dragon Ball Fighters and the way that game looked helped these folks also decide, you know what, we're gonna take it from a 3D looking thing to make it a more 2D. This is definitely some PlayStation 5 next gen graphics. And the game looks great. The game looks great right now, but I hope with all of my heart that Capcom is looking at this because you were loved for making games like this and you dropped the ball so everybody else is picking it up. Street Fighter 6? Street Fighter 6 better be legendary. And if you come out with 3D graphics and they don't look as good as this or Dragon Ball Fighters or any other or even uh, Guilty Gear Strive, uh, you're gonna be in trouble. So Capcom, you need to delay it as much as possible. This is the new future of fighting games. There's gonna be more and more competitors, maybe not with as much backing financially as a game like this one, like Project L, but certainly this is, this is the future of fighting games. The, the few major names that's been on top forever. Yeah, there are new and innovative gameplay mechanics coming. As we're about to see from this character here. I mean, the, the whole idea that they're doing with this character, this time skip motion thing, where this guy does combos and he can return to it, his move at any time. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. I've been playing a lot of fighting games for a long time. I haven't seen it. I, I don't deny that it exists elsewhere. Now, there's the other thing where this could be like the best thing they have to show because that happens a lot with uh, fighting games where this is the best thing they have to show. And they show that in the game. The rest of the games aren't as hype. Or this is just a shadow of the type of creativity they're bringing into fighting games. Um, and I, I can imagine this game probably has a lot of characters that they can work with. So I'm pretty excited for this game. Um, I say excited. I'm not, I shouldn't say excited. I'm looking forward to what else this game brings out. I'm still not completely sold on it. Um, it looks good, but I've only seen four characters for so far and mainly just one, which is Echo here. So... As the character roster fills out and they, they show us more, then I'll decide whether I do that or not. And Capcom, stupid Capcom, do you see what they're doing with this netcode right from the start? Because you blundered Street Fighter. Street Fighter V was such a, a blunder, was such a blunder that... Uh, other people picked up on the importance of making sure they have the net code. Uh, as for this game in itself, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. I hope this is truly a, a sign of things to come as it regards fighting games. So one of the ideas they're doing here is that if your net code is the reason why things are slowing down, then your net code suffers. The other person continues to enjoy the experience, which is, it's fair. It, it's pretty fair. Um, determining a winner or a loser because of that. I don't know how they're going to do that. I don't know. I guess they'll see if someone rage quits and loses. But these are the things we've been asking for. So Street Fighter 6 cannot be less than this. Thank you, Project L. This is Deep Mind 255. Out.